5. International Law Introduction Dr. Hamid Ali's book, The Emergence of Islam, provides a valuable perspective on the relationship between Islamic law and international law. Islamic Law and Universalism Dr. Hamid Ali notes that Islamic law has a universal dimension that transcends national boundaries. He argues that the principles and values of Islamic law are not limited to the Muslim world but can be applied in a broader context. This view is consistent with the Islamic concept of Ummah, which refers to the global community of Muslims. Thus, Islamic law can be seen as a precursor to modern international law, which seeks to establish universal norms and standards for the protection of human rights and the regulation of international relations. Islamic law and human rights One area where Islamic law intersects with international law is human rights. Dr. Hamidala notes that Islamic law has a strong tradition of protecting human rights, including the right to life, property, and dignity. However, he also acknowledges that there are some areas where Islamic law and international human rights norms may diverge. For example, some aspects of Islamic law such as the punishment for apostasy may conflict with modern notions of freedom of religion. Islamic law and diplomacy. Dr. Hamidullah notes that Islamic law has a long history of regulating relations between states. The concept of Dar al-Islam, the House of Islam, and Dar al-Harb, the House of War provided a framework for Islamic states to interact with non-Muslim states. Islamic law also provided rules for the conduct of war and diplomacy. The principles of Islamic law governing war and diplomacy have influenced modern international law, particularly in the areas of international humanitarian law and the law of armed conflict. Islamic Law and International Organizations Dr. Hamidullah notes that Islamic law has influenced the development of international organizations such as the United Nations. He argues that the principles of Islamic law, such as the promotion of justice and the protection of human rights, have helped shape the modern international system. Moreover, the Islamic concept of Ummah can be seen as a precursor to the idea of global citizenship, which is an important aspect of modern international law. Conclusion in conclusion, Drive, Hamid Ali's book, The Emergence of Islam, provides important insights into the relationship between Islamic law and international law. Islamic law has a universal dimension that transcends national boundaries and has historically interacted with other legal systems. The principles of Islamic law have influenced modern international law, particularly in the areas of human rights, diplomacy, and international organizations. While there are some areas where Islamic law and international law may diverge, the similarities and shared values between the two legal systems suggest that they can coexist and complement each other.